In Denver, a man starts his morning with this view from his apartment window. Another man waving a gun and firing shots. This video was recorded moments before police shot and killed him. This is in the area of 10th and Lincoln, right across from CBS4 near the city's busy Capitol Hill neighborhood. Our Dominic Garcia talked to the man who recorded the footage. Boy, Dom, a scary ordeal for people who saw the gunman, certainly for all of us here at the station, too. Uh, Jim, and this started happening as rush hour was really ramping up. That man walked several blocks waving that gun. As you mentioned, he made it to across the street from our station, and that's where it ended. Oh, my God. You see a guy that seems to be really upset. Dallas Irwin was having his morning coffee when it all went down. Did he just shoot a gun? Heard a bang, and it was pretty distinct that it was a gunshot. From his apartment, he grabbed his phone and started recording. I had a false sense of safety being up in the building, but then when he waved the gun up in the air, I did get a little bit concerned. A woman the suspect walks by doesn't seem to know what's going on. Oh my God. Dallas kept rolling as the man went north on Lincoln, waving a gun. I was really worried about the people that work in um, the restaurants and the places down on street level because I live in the neighborhood and uh, there's really nice people. Denver police arrived within minutes, engaging the suspect right outside of CBS4. On the station surveillance video, you can see an officer with a rifle following the suspect. A few moments later, officers moved in, killing the suspect. It felt kind of unreal because uh, it looked like something that you see in TV show or movies. Police have not released this man's identity. And Dallas says he's shocked then, no one else was hurt. I was really impressed. Uh, they seemed to give him a lot of chances to put the gun down. Considering what could have happened, uh, I think it, it could have been a lot worse. Now Dallas did turn his video over to Denver police. DPD asking if anyone else was out here recorded that incident to please turn over their video. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.